Nishuk, uh, Kifa McNamee is a Meath woman in her early 40s. She has a neurodegenerative disorder and she was living independently in her own home. Like many others, she caught COVID uh, and was brought to hospital. But instead of being discharged from hospital, she was given no care package and she had to remain in hospital. She wasn't on her own. Information that I've received has shown that there's 536 people clinically discharged from hospital, but still in hospital, some up to 18 months. Now, Kifa, after a while, after a number of months, was transferred to a nursing home. There she resides with people 40 years her senior, and she can't get out back to her own home because there isn't a care package available for her. We were told to find the staff. We did. And now we're told that there isn't the funding available. Uh, she has been excluded from normal society because of the lack of funding made available. Thank you, Deputy. Will the government help to make sure there's a, a, a care package you, put in place for her so she can rejoin Please, life? Minister Butler. Deputy, thank you very much for your question. In relation to home care support, the budget currently is £666 million, um, for this year, with £5 million extra home care hours being provided. Last year, we delivered 2.9 million more hours on the previous year to 55,000 people. Um, if you want to send me the specifics in relation to that case, we will certainly have it looked into. The challenges we do have at the moment is that even though I have the funding, we have approximately 5,000 people waiting for supports because we have challenges with staffing issues. But the Strategic Workforce Planning will have a hold its first meeting next week, and we're trying to address these issues. But if you want to send me on the details, I'll have a look at it.